Because he fucking packed up the place. What a He's great incredible. performer. What a great performer. And he performer. always, small, big, doesn't yeah. matter. Kills it. Like it's his last. Yeah. So I was actually a huge fan. Mm. So I just said, I love your music, you know. And then he did what you were supposed to do. Yeah. I hope you're writing down. He's How many times am I going to hear this? <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. Please welcome the beautiful and the talented Nandi. Woohoo! What is it? It's Ngoma Madida. 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 You know why I love Madida? Mm. Everyone can pronounce it. Mm. It's for everyone. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Because Ngoma would be misspelled. And, and then also, of course, being married to such a cool guy. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's crazy. The last time I was here, I was shooting Zodwa. Cool. Yeah. Was sitting right there. <gasps> Do you know that Zodwa and I love each other? I For don't real? think you know. A lot of people don't know this. And yeah. they actually find it strange. Yeah. That like. Yeah. Oh, how, how tight are you guys? Oh, that's my girl. Yeah. And a lot of people find it weird. Like, they wouldn't put the two together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's crazy like you. It. Yeah, but she's also a sweet soul. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. She's. Yeah, but people don't know I'm crazy. Yeah. You see, you know that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I freaking love her, man. So, so she was sitting right there, and then she let me put a vibrator up of her JJ. What? Yeah, it was lit, and I had the remote. Oh, my gosh. You want to do that? Should we do that with you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we get along. <laughs> but we're not quite the same. <laughs> and if you'd like sex, <laughs> come on the show real quick. You yeah. Know? No, uh, we're not quite the same like that, but that's my girl. Yeah. Can I tell you the first time I remember we met? It was crazy, man. This is the first time. I yeah. know we probably met before, but this is the first yeah. time I remember. Yeah. And it's the last time, actually, I saw you. Yeah. Uh, it was a part, I don't know if I was playing or not, but like yeah. a high-profile part. Yeah. Julius Malema was there. Yeah. Meaning, like, meaning, whatever. Yeah. And then I was, out, I was going outside waiting for my friends. Yeah. And so were you. I think you were waiting for me. Like me. Yes. For and then you came out, right, and you sat right next to me. And yeah. we started talking. I'm yeah. like, fuck, this girl's beautiful. Ah. Not shit. <laughs> she asked for a number. Yeah. You know, she's way over my league. Oh. It's not going to happen. And I had to say, what do they call it? Kwababa? Yeah! I didn't ask you for a number. Oh. Who knows? You could have been Nandi Mkwebo. Oh. <laughs> Moral of the story is go for shoot, what you want. Shoot your shot. Because this is like, yo, yeah. skip on. Okay, it wasn't like that. Because I would have been like, But oh. do you remember that day? I do remember. That's what I'm saying. I hope you remember us from way back. I also remember even before that, you and why. Yes. And I remember, I don't know if we like met and we, like I was in studio or something, but I remember you being in why mm. and me like bumping into you. Mm. You don't remember that. And that's okay. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 I remember that. I never forget experiences and people and faces it actually creeps out a lot of people because yeah. even like crew mm. crew always gets oh, we're on <laughs> 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 yeah. Sugar, if you're like, <laughs> I think it's so important my dad raised me that way you have to remember everyone you come across yeah. even if you don't remember their name but just it means something to a lot of people we'll get to your dad in your childhood uh, initial yeah. wow but dude a lot of people that have fucked up here yeah. your 2020 has been lit yeah, dude. Holy Where do you even start? I mean, like, you you, you, you signed to Sony now. Yo. Uh, you want a Sama. Yo. You got an international agency now. Yo. Black is king. Yo. Can I go on? Should I go on? <laughs> In the middle of a pandemic. You know what I, mean? I think that's what makes it crazy because, you know, I want to say this. This year messed us all up. Mm. And I think a lot of us like fronting, like everything's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the ground. yeah, yeah. But it actually did. It messed up everyone, you know. Um, and so that's why I feel so warped because it's so surreal. Mm. The fact that, like, holy shit. Yeah. This, all of this is happening to me um, during a pandemic that we've never had. It's never happened in the history of humanity. Mm. There've been different kinds of pandemic, but not on this global scale. Mm. And we're in it. And then all these good things are happening. So I also just don't know how to react. I was telling my husband, like, I don't know whether to, like, celebrate. Yeah. Or just be like, you yeah. know, so... Because you can celebrate people like, hey, well, people are dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with it's you? Absolutely. <laughs> it's just, it's the most warped year to have anything good happening at the same time. Because how does Black King happen? 
Yo, and I get asked this a lot. This is now nah, this is how God works. Because I this is, I actually want to tell you the backstory because mm-hmm. this is that kind of show. Mm-hmm. And I want to be more um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. earnest. Yes. So take me back to that day. Don't look at me like that. You take me back to that day. Just <laughs> Is that are we is that my I'm having flashbacks? <laughs> I'm like, no! Why did I take the number? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, long story short, I remember after my my son. Um so I had a bit of a tiff with one of the execs from a channel that I worked on, the TV channel. Because I just didn't like, like his moral fiber and the way he did things. Mm. And so I left. But leaving that, so I've just had my son and I, I left. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. You know, I've, I've literally left my livelihood. What production was that? <laughs> okay, that it one. was just connected. Ah, that one. Okay, I see yes. it. I see it. I see it. And, but it was the proudest moment ever because I was like, no, I've got principles. There's a certain way you need to work. You know, you can't be shy, shy and girls here and working like that. Mm. Because it's a real thing. We live in a patriarchal society where a lot of men exploit, yeah. you know, females, knowing it's like you carry that carrot. Mm-hmm. Like, but if you don't, then you don't get yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Those vibes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I think I'm a lot of these male executives, not all of them, obviously those ones, their worst nightmare. Shit. Because it's all working out without me having to compromise anything. Yeah. So imagine if every girl had to find out that you can't do it without these... Yeah, these assholes. Yeah, I want to say something worse, but I'm yeah. joking. You can't get that Yeah. Absolutely. No, you can say that. That's freedom. Mm. No, you just disturbed me. I want to say that. But that's what I'm coming with. That. <laughs> but that's real freedom. That's what it's like, even economic freedom. If we had that as a people, damn, we'd be good. We wouldn't have to compromise ourselves. So anyway, long story short, left that... Felt great, but had no, like, plan. And so, um, obviously, also, um, uh, Gangster Love had come out. And, and so, at least the music thing was kind of keeping me going. Mm, but I had no, like, I, I, I had a global plan with this whole thing. I had a, and it was cut short. And then this is when, you know, when people say you need to really believe in God. I was like, God, you know what I've been manifesting since I was 15. Because you also yeah, yeah. been doing this since you were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, it's always been a part of the plan to be more global, but to take the continent globally the right way, not to be appropriated yeah, yeah, or expropriated in any way. And so when Black King, Black is King came... Um, Shit, I even forgot to ask that question. Yeah, no, but there's a, there's a backstory because yeah. there was this exec and mm, his mm. energies that had done everything in their power to try to stop this trajectory. Because I was the kind of girl who, for example, BT was 2016, I was late... And my producer at the time, these are my brothers, Hosan and Javier. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm late. And also this one American guy said, you, ma'am, you, ma'am, stay right. You got, we got to get. And all of a sudden, these photographers are taking photos. Yeah. Next thing, I'm trending. Wow. E-entertainment. Wow. You know, Fuck L magazine. Me. Fuck me, man. Well, I mean, you name it. But that's how my life has been, where mm. I had no PR team. I just had the dress that, you know, I created with Inga. Inga's an incredible human being, an incredible fashion designer. And we, like, I posed and not knowing anything would happen, and that moment happened. So things like that in life, my life has been weird in that way because there have been energies that have tried to stop it, but every time I cannot explain my life. So even Black is King is like that. So, you know, I'm part of this network, leave it, and then the call comes... Um, Someone calls my team. Uh, we have a really important production we think London would be interested in. Um, we can't say the name, but yeah. trust me, it's one of the, if not the biggest, star of our time. It'll change But your life. no, you think that's it's relative. You think, oh, they're going to, you know, you know, because star is star. Yeah, star yeah, you know, yeah. so I'm like, is it one of the littles? <laughs> Those the rappers, the little, the little bench, the little chairs, little, little baby. Sand, you know? <laughs> no, that was a star. <laughs> or is it really a star? You know what I mean? Because, you know, doing like a film or video, a video with a star, you're like, am I going to need to like booty hop? You know what I mean? <laughs> so my first thing was like, I am bad. You know what I mean? It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> but once we got the email. Wow. From Parkwood, you see, Parkwood Entertainment. Damn. Holy moly. This. Are you the one who sees the email first? Well, 
you know, you spoke to the kite, she's part of my team, I love her to death. Um, Parkwood Entertainment. There's only one Parkwood, and you know the writing, you know when you see Parkwood. Hey, you know, and we like you to be a part of this, da-da-da, and obviously the whole process. But the, the part that really is surreal to me, even to this day, is how she was adamant on having me be a part of it. So it came from the top? That, this is the part, that's the fact that she, the director was telling me this, yeah. that she, this is before I got to meet her, but like, you met Beyonce. Beyonce, I still can't even say her name like that, it's still like, so you know, she. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's still, I, pro- I think it's because we're in the middle of a pandemic, yeah. everything doesn't seem real. Yeah, it's surreal. Everything doesn't feel, yeah, yeah, and it feels so surreal. Mm. Um, and the director was saying how she was very adamant on you. I'm like, so she knows me like that, wow. you know? You got on WhatsApp? No. But thank you. <laughs> Most Americans don't even have WhatsApp as well. <laughs> no, thank you. We'll pretend we chat all the time. Hey! You got to like, hey! You want to get on this, man? Let's keep on fits. Hey, fits, man. Yo, hey, let's go. No shitty, yo. Beyonce, ask me. <laughs> Yeah. But it was crazy nuts that um you met her. She saw something. Absolutely, we worked. To, what do you mean met her? We had to work. I mean, we were so. I mean, just being on set with her. The, and in fact, the one thing that I, I took out of the whole experience. So obviously, she's this like icon, legend, talent, beyond talented. You know, everyone knows this. You know, the biggest star of our time. She's just the sweetest, most humble, wow. down to earth girl. And I'm like, if she can be like that, guys. What's stopping everyone from doing that? I, t- I was chatting to Len Marcos the other day, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Beyonce is fucking hood. She's like gangster, right? She's, well, I wouldn't... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't come across as gangster to me. <laughs> she came across very Southern and very just mm. well-mannered and, and very humble, good, you know, that introverted spirit. She's really a beautiful human being, you know? Like, you know when you've been on set 12 hours, you're tired, you're whatever you are, you know, you know, sick mm. life. Mm. But to see someone consistently that kind to everyone, and this is a cost of like so many people, and just saying you smell good, you look good, you, oh my goodness, you're, and you're just thinking, wow, like what an incredible human being. Like that's what I got from that. We know the hard work. I mean, you don't have to meet Beyonce to know how hard she works or how incredibly talented she is. But it's the fact that she's that down to earth girl and it's not put on, and she just wants to see you do well and feel beautiful. And you get what I'm saying? Like, and the, the story was so important because uh, it did a better job than a lot of our history books have. Ooh, bars, yeah. yeah. Shit, I still haven't watched it. I feel so bad. You have to. <laughs> I haven't watched it. I ain't got time. This is why I love you. Who were you? When they, they replayed it, we ran, we, whatever. It was like they were doing it for him. <laughs> He's done. He, he still hasn't what, watched it. What, what, what do you say? You gotta. What do you say when you meet Beyonce? What do you say to? Well, I remember we were going through out? the clothes. Well, I remember. I don't know if it's like a Zulu thing because it's also like, yeah, I mean, you come to Mwanda, we got my daughter when I want it. Yeah, showcase. Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't like that. Um, uh, we were going through like wardrobe, you know, trying on different things, and then she came through. But the biggest thing was she was, she was just, hi, thank you so much for being a part of this project. You know, thank you. Oh, you look beautiful. You smell amazing. I'll never forget the smell amazing because I have not changed that scene. <laughs> I will never change that scene. I will be smelling like this forever. <laughs> For the rest of my life. It's like, what's the one, the red doll that our parents, our moms used to wear? Yeah, it's like my little red doll. Obviously, I wasn't wearing red doll, but um, yeah, it was just so surreal. And damn, she's beautiful. Yeah. You know, they speak about like the no makeup beautiful. Mm, mm. Like, no, like that beautiful. Jeez, bro. Can you imagine where you're just like, so this is, this is real. The crazy part though, when we were a global citizen, I was heavily pregnant. I was eight months pregnant. And I remember saying to my husband, so when you're eight months pregnant, for anyone who doesn't know, you cannot, like one step, just like yeah, walking, yeah. it's just a nightmare. And the hormones are. So you can imagine, heavy. so hormones, you're a mess, you're sweaty. Mm. And so, I'm in the middle of like the biggest concert in South Africa. And I remember just saying, I'm going to meet her. Hmm. I'm going to meet her one day because I wanted to leave early. So you guys didn't meet her there? No, I, I, no, I didn't. I, oh. I didn't. Oh. I, I don't know about anyone else, but I, no, I yeah. didn't. And um, I was just too pregnant, I remember. But I yeah. said, no, it's fine. I'm going to meet her. Yeah. You know, and I told my husband and he said, 
look how, I mean, like a year later, a year and a bit. And I was confident. I was like, but I was like pregnant about it. So I was like, ah, oh, it's okay. Yes, I'm going to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, look how you manifest. Crazy, right? And then speaking about events, Afropunk, how was that? That was awesome. Yeah. Um, so I've, damn, Afropunk... This is before COVID, ne? Yeah, this is yeah, before it has COVID. To be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Afropunk was, for me, like family. That's my family. They like, because they understood what it really means to be black. Mm. And also rock and alternative and be yourself and embrace whether it's your sexuality, uh, you know, whether it's your skin, whatever the case may be. Um, they just wanted you. I always said, if, if my, my version of heaven yeah. is the crowd that I always speak to at Afropunk. Nice. Where any, everyone can be whoever the hell they want to be. And you're the first uh, African yes. person to host it. I was the it. first African person to um, host the main stage, which was also just... Who do you meet backstage? And say, okay, so this is how the backstage was. Thank you for asking, because <laughs> I was so starstruck. <laughs> There's Chris Rock, Ava Juvenet, <laughs> There's Issa Rae, oh. who speaks French, because I didn't know her dad's half um, Senegalese. Uh, there was, who's the, oh, Jesse, the hot guy, hmm. Jesse Williams. And he's fine. Like, all the girls were going crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, Miguel, oh my goodness, Miguel. Jesse Reyes, and we wow. have a good relationship from Afropunk and BET. Uh, so Jesse and I, I mean, she's an incredible musician. Um, Listen to you, it's like you're talking about Tepo, Tabang. There was her, no, it was incredible. <laughs> there was her backstage, Daniel Scissor, they performed together. I mean, you, Erica Badu. Mm. I mean, it's just, it was the craziest thing ever. But my, now my thing with Afropunk, because that's where I kind of started mm. w with, you know, this global dream, I guess, yeah. of mine, this crazy dream, um, is now I'm... Now that I'm doing music, I want to perform there. Oh, so, right? shit. So it's no longer shit. the hosting. That, I mean, Can they, I be the DJ? I'll play the tracks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> easy. 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 You know how to... Billy Gates. Billy Gates. The young Billy Gates. While I'm performing, see on, see right. <laughs> it's like... You think I'm joking? <laughs> hey, crew, they can't see you, but you heard, no? Yeah. Shabs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's great. So they, they like family, uh, but I'm going to do it more as a performer, as a musician, no mm. longer as host, because mm. um, that's a transition. I'm, I'm surprising me, focusing more on music, and that's how I got signed to Sodi. And does uh, Ludacris' wife know you? Yes. Wow. She's incredible. Um, I've actually never met her, mm. but um, she's incredible. She's beautiful um, and she's proudly African, which I love because a lot of people don't know she's from Gabon. Originally. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can see with the curves and oh! Didn't you meet him when he nice. did the, when he came to No, Africa no, no. Isn't that up? crazy? Look at manif like, <laughs> manifestation is a real thing. Remember Luda spoke about the best women are from Africa. Africa. Next thing. He marries a woman from Africa. Isn't that the craziest yeah, thing? Yeah. But also that's been insane. I think for me, even with, for example, something like Black is King, just to show you how big, obviously, the Beyonce name is. It's um, someone like Jack, the co-founder of and oh, yeah, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I was about to get there. How do you meet him? How did that happen? No, I do, it's not. We in COVID. I'm not meeting anyone, guys. We are, we are not supposed to be meeting anyone. Oh. But it's the fact that they've been seeing my work. So it's like. No way. I promise you. First, seeing him. So I was listening to the Ferrari. By the way, Jack is the owner of Twitter. Yes. Yeah. CEO so, of Twitter. Yes, Jack Dorsey. I was um, listening to Jay's, uh, a Pharrell song, Entrepreneur, featuring Jay-Z. I'm listening to the lyrics because I like you know, listening to your lyrics. And there's a line where Jay-Z is basically speaking about black Twitter and he's just saying also like, well, you know, where he talks about, are you getting paid like Jack or something? Mm, like that. Mm, mm. I was like, Jack, Twitter. Oh, okay. Oh, CEO of Twitter is Jack. So then I go to see like how he tweets, you know, because it's interesting to see how the CEO of Twitter tweets. Go and you probably Twitter. have more followers than him. <laughs> I don't know that. that <laughs> go into his Twitter. How? He's following me. What? You love That and so I told Zex because I thought I was being hacked. I was like, oh my God, my account's been hacked. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> so they check, check, check. No. Uh, the way I hacked, sorry, excuse me, mm. is um, the way I checked rather is I DM'd him because I was like, should I, let me just DM him to check if this is like. Legit. So I was like, hey, listen, I love your legacy. Something along those lines, mm. you know, like you're a brilliant guy. Yeah. 
And he's like, hey, I appreciate your work so much. Like, Gati, this year is too much. <laughs> <laughs> what? What a humble human being. And it's funny because he's the co-founder of Twitter. You know how Twitter is. Yeah. Flames. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. the most like yeah. chill, nicest guy Tell ever. him to cancel I'm Black Twitter. Like, do you know Twitter what you created? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you it's know. a mess. <laughs> I love Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Shit. but yeah, that's, so that's, that, that's what happened. You just, you, you just DM'd him. Yeah, just to check because I thought I was hacked. I mean, I was just checking because you know, if you've been hacked, you're not going to get, oh, Gandhi, this thing is real. I will. Hey. Yeah, so there's no follow up. You guys aren't working on anything like. I don't speak about anything that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not out there. NDAs and whatnot. No, no, because of NDAs. Did Beyonce just, make you sign an NDA? You know what? Yeah, we, we did. And, and, and rightfully so. I, I think at her caliber, I'd do the same because. You know, you have people who just have agendas, mm. you know. I don't want to ask her why she lies about her age. She never lies about her age. Yeah, she did. No, you're lying about her age. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you're not. In fact, if anything, everyone knows her age. <laughs> yeah, well, it starts. That's why we need to sign NDAs. No, I'm actually. Nice. And direct. Yeah. And then Taraji P. Henson, have you met her? Yeah, I have. I have. Wow. When she came down to the country... And she's incredible. Mm. Uh, and so is her family. Oh, my goodness. Um, and she's just great. Um, and so the fact that she's been so supportive of my career. So she knew you? Yeah. She's, like, cool. It's, like, it's very, you have to understand, it's very surreal. And it's not, it's just what's happening with Africa as a whole. But not only Africa, the world, the world's become smaller. Mm. So I don't want it to be, it's not only my narrative. Yeah, it's just yeah. the world is opening up and 100%. they're vibing with whoever they want to vibe with, you know? And it's just dope that there's these like incredible names that are, I mean, the, like the other thing, yeah, like even, yeah, I, it's okay. I'm not going to drop this. <laughs> but there's some people where you're just like, damn, you know, you know who I am. And it's mm. very so surreal. But also what I like is that I, I'm not really the starstruck type. Okay. I like appreciating your work. Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, let's talk about your work. Oh, right? yeah, you know, It's yeah. not about... So you could be a well-known person or not so well-known, but mm. if I vibe with you, I freaking, mm. you know... It's like, I love Roshi Murphy. Mm. A lot of people don't know who that is. I don't even know who that exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. She's a musician. I freaking love her. Mm. I'd literally faint if I yeah. had to see her performing. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? As much as... In fact, most of the Af people in Afropunk lineup, which I vibe with, most people don't know. And if I have to meet them, I go freaking crazy. Wow, you that's insane. My, yeah, so for me, it's more Beyonce, like... Beyonce, I'm going to go... okay? <laughs> and that's the best thing about someone like her. She backs it up with the talent. She's mm. commercial, but she can, you know, yeah. she's... First Scooter Braun? Scooter. Scooter was... That was crazy. So we were at um, Global Set. You do your research. <laughs> <laughs> you either stalking, so making up for that, like, number situation. Yes, I need to tell you this. <laughs> Who made you? That's it. I'm getting comfortable now. Hey, but cheers to that. Scooter story was crazy. So we made him. Uh, actually, it was Global Citizen New York, um, and I was pregnant even then, guys. I feel like I've been pregnant for, for the last like ten years. <laughs> Damn, I've just been pregnant yeah. every year. Yeah. Anyway, don't worry. That was last baby. <laughs> anyway, so um, one hotel, Brooklyn, Dumbo. Mm -hmm. Incredible place. Uh, uh, went to go see some friends there. And Scooter was there. Mm -hmm. But this is the coolest part about Scooter. So I didn't know. I mean, obviously, I know Scooter. Everyone knows Scooter. Yeah. The biggest manager in the world, mm -hmm. or one of at least. Um, and so we start chatting, but this is the part where, and he's like, hey, do you know my wife's from South Africa? His wife? <laughs> hey, they're taking all our women, these yeah. guys. <laughs> and she's hella hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are. You guys gonna watch it. Because South African men, guys. <clears throat> the world is looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Step up your game. Yeah. Take it seriously. And when, when, <laughs> when, when. when. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hesitate to take someone's number. Oh, I mean, like, Kwabawa's too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> And so when we were chatting, obviously, you know, industry things, because also he was supposed to be the executive producer for Global Citizen. But anyway, we went on a tangent. But also his um, stepbrothers are from Mozambique. So he just, you know, so much about the continent and was telling us so much, uh, telling myself so much um, and a friend of mine. But it was just incredible. So that's how I got to, to meet him. And I know 
Yeah, he's a cool guy, man. Yeah. I've never been to America, man. What's it like being in America? Is it like all glitz and glamour like we see it? Yeah. Okay, so America's great because obviously the whole world yeah. wants to be there yeah. or is there, you yeah. know, yeah. the best of the best. Mm. But I feel from a lifestyle perspective, there's no better place in South Africa. Wow. And that's the truth. Because when you get there, yeah, Port Soccer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, I stop. You know, and I'm talking about like JFK, mm, mm, LAX, mm, you know, mm, the mm. top, you know. Top notch. Um, so what they've done so well, America, and I actually respect that about them, is they've branded themselves so, so well. well. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? That you believe. That you are in America, yeah. you know? And that's why it's so important to pride yourself of who you are because South Africans, for me... We don't do that. No. And we're like the most talented, mm. the most... I mean, Americans are incredible yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Not taking anything away from them. But we're so good at what we Fuck. do. Yeah. Food. Just something small as food. We have like... T- like... Yeah, but like barbecues. Yeah, but like barbecues. In the hood, like a crane show, you know. <laughs> you could have jumped up. Or, or you know, in the Bronx, you know. Well, no, I'm sure there is in the hood, but there's still hoods. You got to have people there. Same vibes, yeah, yeah, different yeah. language. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I love it, actually. When I was in um, Brooklyn, and I'm pausing for sound. Sorry, guys, it's a huge plane. I'm just being thoughtful for the sound guy. Where's the sound guy? No, nah, don't worry. The mic picks up everything. Yes. Don't, don't pick that up. Don't worry. HD, HD, ah! just for you. <laughs> We're in play. Yeah. I remember the one thing I always wanted to do is go to the hood mm. um, in New York. Um, so I got a friend of mine who was like, you know, they'll show me around. Who, Justin Bieber? <laughs> no. <laughs> that is the lip. Think I'm no, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Trace songs. Stop the scooter. <laughs> 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 yeah. But um and it was beautiful to see our people, but I must say, that's why I actually think Black is King was important, is because we've suffered for 400 years plus. It's the same story because mm. you know the plans were the same. Colonialism, you know, you hear you hear of the red zones, same thing. Mm. Like I see we've mm. taken from vast, beautiful land. We had mm. like acres and acres or land, kilometers yeah. of land and it was like now let's squash everyone and put them here while yeah. colonizing them and making sure that they're frustrated with one another yeah. so you see my people the diaspora our people suffering even there but still trying to within that like you know suffrage them still managing to to have a good time yeah yeah. We've got that magic as black people yeah. I don't no know what no matter what no matter what you do man you know because I remember so I Growing up in the burbs, I remember being like, why like a lot of these people, not all of them, so angry. You've got the cars, you've got the house, but you're still angry that me and I'm driving a little car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you yeah, know. You're right. Right? Yeah. And maybe it's the way you get things also. Because mm. I'm huge on like ancestry yes. and like um mm. hey, don't miss all that stuff. Don't miss. Don't miss. Comic energy and that yeah. stuff, you know. It's a real thing. Yeah, where God is like, I'm not happy with the way you got this. Shit, man. Because it's actually not yours. Yeah. Therefore, you'll never be happy. Yeah. Shout out to all the politicians out there. Yeah. Mm. It's true. Mm. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I went on a... You see, this is why the show is so good. Because I can <laughs> go off. Yeah. You do you, man. Time, man. Pretend I'm not even here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I can hear your heart. <laughs> and then the women, because like, uh, w- when you look on TV, right, all yeah. the women there have fake asses, whatever, yeah. Cardi yeah. B type of look. Yeah. So when you come there and you're like African, like yeah. real African, you don't have to weave. No. Are they like, what, who are you? What's going on? Well, it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh my God. And that's like real. You know, they, they or even when, you know, anyone comes <laughs> And to that's like country, real. <laughs> We're so blessed. Mm. South African women. You guys, we please stop taking, yeah, appreciate us more, man. I always mm. think, yo, South African men are so blessed. Yeah, though. but we're spoiled, man. Spoiled! Have you and been you to KZN? Know. Have you been to KZN? I'm from KZN. <laughs> you know, it's just the other day, in fact, I was chilling and I was like, hey, bo, Mina, Abu Nonika, Sabo Mini, Zamini, all yeah, these yeah. people that you kind of like grew up with. Yeah. 
I just saw them, like, we thought that was normal. Mm, mm, mm. And now coming out of KZN, I'm like, damn, yeah. you guys are so fine. Yeah. Like, you're beautiful, beautiful you know? Yeah. South Africans are just beautiful, man. You see I'm a South Africa? Mm. Oh, my God. So how are the women that side? Um, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful. No, they're beautiful In their people. own right. Yeah, in their own right. Mm. But there's something about African women. Mm. Um... Damn, we've just got that like. Mm. You oh, I love my Zulu girls. Oh, oh, I think, oh. oh. <laughs> damn, I love my Zulu girls. I mean, there's something about just women all over Africa that's just so damn. Beautiful. A friend of mine who's been to America told me that um, you'll go to a club, right? Yeah. And out of all the girls that you see there, yeah, there'll be that one that's <laughs> like fucking hot, right? But True. in SA, it's there's just, like ten. It's in abundance and you guys are so spoiled and you don't know. Yeah. That's why I actually can't wait for the rest of the world to see what's happening here. Yeah. Ah, competition. <laughs> yeah. They're going to bring it. All right, cool. Let's take it back from the beginning. No? Yeah. Um, is it 2004? Which was your first gig? My first gig, um, so I was a bit of a child. Star, I yeah. wouldn't say star because yeah. I was just in TV. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was 15. 15 So yeah 2004, 2003 2003, 2003 When does Bling It wasn't Bling your Bling first, yeah. it, was, it was Bling 2003 yeah. yeah 2003 So Bling happens Double delicious ne? Yeah And then you try Audition for Live Yes Right Many like many beats you to Yes it. But you were in the top four Right Yes Same year Yes You did Channel O Yes Can you imagine Three months later <laughs> 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 do you know where it gets that? <laughs> so after that, I'm like, fuck this shit, let me do music. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you have to understand, Twitter had just become like a thing, mm. you know? Mm. So it's not like, okay, run out of twice, but no one knows about it. Yeah, it yeah. was like, I remember, sh- I remember, <laughs> like, can she give up already? Like, this is, this is starting to be painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching this. Um, but I also understand at the time, from an aesthetic perspective, I was completely different. Mm. I was the girl with the fro, oh. or the girl with the bald hair. Okay. Talking about like Africa, Pan-Africanism, natural hair. So it was just like a lot. And I remember even one of the producers saying, you know, this is an urban show. This was with our access. Mm. And like, you know, mm. they needed something similar as well. Mm. To not, not discrediting yeah. though, both uh, Mini uh, and Dino. Because Dino, yeah. when you're at the top two or top four, it's no, it's no longer even about talent. Yeah. You being able to host or present. Yeah. It's now who fits the show. 100%. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just didn't. And I knew that. So it was like, oh, cool. I mean, it was painful because I'm doing it publicly. But I, I understood that, no, I, I don't, I mean... Hey, welcome back to OX. I mean, I wasn't. Let's be honest. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, and it made sense. But what it did to me, it actually encouraged me to say, okay, cool. So the talent's there. Mm. You're doing your thing. Now, as an adult, and people still see you. So you're onto something. Mm. You, you got to carry on. But obviously me, like... But as a woman, you know women are insecure. Aren't you I like, fuck, maybe I got to look like Mini. Maybe I got to do what Danelle does. You know, and I think this is where... Good parenting comes ah, in. Ah, get you. Yeah, I had get a dad you. who was always like, you need to have a good self-esteem. Mm. You know, all of my daughters are at 10. He used to have this 10. Before there was the whole thing, she's a 10. Before hip-hop, this is way back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he used to say, your market value is 10. You know, the more accessible you are, you lower it. You know, the more mm. you allow people to trash you, tell you you're not beautiful and you allow that, you're just lowering it. You got to ah. keep it up. Keep it high. But know? that's why I'm against like child um, beauty pageants. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like worst. it's the worst. You're thing. messing up a kid. It's funny though. because I mess actually, you up? I did pageants, but reluctant. I mean, my parents were reluctant about it. They didn't even. So I used to get my cousin, my late cousin, shout out to him. So he used to, he was old enough to like get me into these like pageants. Yeah. <laughs> he was a rib. He was like, okay, fuck it. I'll sign. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I got into the pageant world. Yeah. But uh, my parents hated that. They didn't mm. want me to be a part of it did it affect um, you does it still affect you in your adult no I think because I didn't have stage parents I think ah. if I had stage parents for me it was like oh 
a trip to Zimbabwe, guys. <laughs> we made it. It was so it was a lot of fun. Myself, Minnie, we used to do that stuff for fun. It was fun because our parents didn't want us to do it. Yeah. You know, and I yeah. think that's important not to have stage parents where you know it's something you want to do. Yeah. You know, something not something you're forced to do. Because then it becomes creepy as well. And it helped that you so, won. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I made a lot of I made a lot of money. I don't know where it went. <laughs> but I went in mini nose. Dude, me too. I made so much money, Chris. I I, I don't know what Crazy. happened. I bought my first check, I bought a radio, which I still have. I also have a radio. <laughs> I still have a radio. Yeah. I bought a PC, which I yeah. still have. And the rest oh. I don't know. I remember a lot of ice cream and movies yeah. and Heelys. Damn it. Yeah. I bought those damn Heelys. You know those Asha shoes? Yeah, yeah. I remember how expensive they are, but I don't, re- the rest, I also don't remember. Yeah. It wasn't that great because that taught me a lot about how to like use money and be wise about money at a really young age because I spent it and I couldn't account for where it went. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't be repeating yeah. the same stuff every time. Yeah. I need to know where my money went. But you know, it's also interesting. You started crazy. I was actually thinking about it the other day um, where you see all these people. I mean, Bonang, uh, she was on KTV, The Rush. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I've forgotten the name. Wasn't she an extra um, there? Yeah, she was. I don't know. <laughs> but it still counts. <laughs> hey, dog, we all started, man. <laughs> and that's the incredible part. Hey? Yeah. Oh, she's just... Yeah, yeah. Look at her now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Trevor Noah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Trevor the Afro. Yeah. You know, all you know, of Trevor, us. Trevor used to come to Red Pepper when we were shooting uh, Crazy because he was dating Salamina. Oh, really? Yeah, he was dating Salamina. Oh. And we all were mad because we all wanted Salamina. Oh, everyone... Even now, but I didn't shoot like, my shot. Hey, sh- you know, I shoot know. Shot. Uh, 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 I You need to put that pee in there. I am Ah, she's mad. We can't. Ah, oh, what's up? What's up? You are not serious. I looked at her. I'm like, ah, no, this is way Listen, beyond my level. I still have the biggest crush on her. Whenever she's like, hey, Nandi, I see you doing great things. I'm like, <laughs> she was always that cool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Trevor's always had taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor, yeah. Damn, he's that He used to drive his, drive his red golf. <laughs> Come pick her up. Look at all of us. Yeah. And so people always say, people think this is overnight success. Yeah. Yeah. All those years. This yeah. is how overnight success looks like. We've been doing it. But but I feel like you're the black sheep of the family because like everybody there are doctors and yeah, lawyers. You're the only one who's like, that, yeah. black is king. <laughs> <laughs> but I love here. it. Can I tell you, like my dad, for example, never knows anything that I'm doing. My yeah. mom is better. Yeah. But like, I love it. So like my dad will be, first of all, my mom, it was so funny. So the first time I said, mom, because I'm a huge Pharrell. I've always been mm, like a nerd, mm, alternative mm. music vibes. Um, so I was like, damn, I'm working with Pharrell. Uma was like, ha, buka baba guy. She thought I was like, she thought I wanted to go overseas with Zay because she knew I was dating Zay. She's like, just say you want to go to London with Zay. Like, that's what she was thinking in her head. And I was like, what do you take me for? Like, I'm working with Pharrell. And then also I was just thinking, like, how would I be able to, like, make that happen? I don't have Pharrell and speak down to be like, yo, Pharrell, listen, my mom doesn't believe me. <laughs> So those, those are the kind of parents I have. But thank God for that. Because also my dad for the longest time just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> but like all his friends would tell him. He's a, like a, a serious yeah. radiologist doctor. Yeah. Like, yeah. Always at work. Come with this entertainment <laughs> shit. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> so only now that he's like, oh, I hate Michael. He's like you. He hasn't watched it yet. He's exactly like you. But you know, that's very good. <laughs> But you need that stuff, yo. Mm. That stuff is the stuff that keeps you grounded. It does. Without even trying to be grounded. Yeah, it because brings it back. Because one lying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. And, and the other is just doesn't know what I'm doing. Mm. So, um, and I love that. I actually love that age. That are, you, are you the favorite? Because you're the middle child. Are you the favorite? I'm, I'm actually the least favorite. Nah. The middle child gets the sister, worst. Exa- and my sister even confessed. She's like, yeah, you know, because mom really likes me. <laughs> and like, you know, when you're adults, you're just like... <laughs> No, I'm the least. I was the most annoying kid. Mm. My son's exactly like me, and now I get it. Because mm. now my son's on my case. Mm. Like, my son's a lot. How many kids you got? You got two now, Two. Right? And oh, I'm no. done. Yeah, Guys, yeah. I want to say that <laughs> on camera. <laughs> not only if Zex has something to do with it. No, no, <laughs> no Zex and I agreed. Um, yeah. No, I'm done. Uh, so did you resent your parents growing up? Because, like... No, but I, at some point I thought I was adopted and then I looked a lot like my dad and I was like, damn, okay, so that story doesn't work. <laughs> you know, as a middle kid, you come up with these theories. Okay, that doesn't work. I look like my dad. <laughs> so, um, yeah. but um, no, I never resent. There was a lot of love. I don't know, like, there's a lot of love at home. Damn, mm. there's a lot of, like, my dad and my mom 
worked hard, yo. Mm. Can I say something? Yeah. That's made digress, but I think it's important for South Africa. Mm. 400 years of privilege will never equate to one generation of privilege. Mm. 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 We as a people, as black people, are not privileged. Mm. We, are, we do not have economic freedom. You know, if my dad messed up, it was a wrap. And I remember, you know, you went to Hyde Park Tonto School. <laughs> Do you remember? This actually used to traumatize me. And this is, and I'm being dead serious, where you'd have black kids come to the school and then they'd have to leave. Like your friend. How? Mm. No, Ekaya, we no longer mm. in Mali. Mm. You either go back to the hood or in my car, whatever. Mm. That's not privilege. Mm. We've been conditioned that the little bit you have, mm. that's all you guys deserve. Mm. Mm. Guys, we need to do a pre-colonialism and a post. Mm. We know what we really need. Why is it so near, near and dear to your heart? Because it's not the first time you mentioned this because, on the guys, episode. Yeah, it's not. And it, it has to be because we just need to be free. Mm. Not this talk that we're free. Mm. You know, seeing... We've been so conditioned to think seeing someone being on the side of the road who's African on their own soil as an African in Africa is okay. Mm. Or we being paid substandard, whatever, rates. Or if you're in corporate, you're in the same position as someone else, but because they have another color, they get paid more and that's fine. Or that we don't own any companies that are listed or hardly any companies that are listed in the JSC. Mm. Or do you get what I'm saying? That media is not owned by us. That's why what you're doing is incredible. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and that's okay. That's freedom. Mm. We're free. Mm. That half the girls, for example, and that's why I hate people judging uh, women who, you know, have to do what they have to do to survive. Mm. You Survival. Know? Because I, I can tell you half of them wouldn't be doing that stuff mm. if they had economic freedom. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. You wouldn't be with some sleazy man who's got a big stomach and you know you don't like them. You know, like, do you get what I'm saying? Like a young girl wouldn't have to if she was free. Mm. We need to be empowered not only as women, but as a people. Yeah. You know, and so you find yourself, the gap we have, we were number one, I think, in 2015 mm. of rich and poor. Mm. Mm. So the smallest population has the most wealth and the biggest population has the least wealth. Yeah. And you're saying we're free? How can I not be passionate? We all need to be passionate about Like anyone watching this who's African needs to be passionate about that. Yeah. Because that doesn't even make sense. Guys, this is our ancestors' turf. Mm. It's ours. Mm. Do you think that's maybe in hindsight, that's your purpose of, you know, you being global so you can preach that message to a Beyonce who watches you, to a Tari P. Jensen or whatever mm. her name is. Taraji P. Taraji, yeah. Yeah. That's why we didn't bro. end up hooking up. <laughs> I was like, okay, bye. English. He's coming here with his English. <laughs> <laughs> no, but even that English, stop that. Because it's not your mother tongue. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you must just say dope instead of deep. Yeah. It's not my mother. Oh, can you speak my language? Oh. But do you think that's maybe your purpose? Yeah, I actually do think so. And it's been for the longest time. And I think because of my story. So a lot of people think, this is not branded. I've been about this since. Mm. And because of my story, you know, growing up in the burbs, you've been made fun of everything. How you yeah. look. Coconut. You know, your coconut, mm. your lips, your booty, your whatever. Oh my God, ew. Don't speak. Zulu. I mean, our teachers would tell us that, you know, we can't speak our home language because they could be swearing. We could be swearing at each other. Imagine if you were in the A class, which was the top class, you had to take only Afrikaans. You and couldn't English. take Zulu. Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, Because it meant that, you know, Zulu that fucking French. With, or, or an African language. Yeah. Because it, it's associated with you being less smart. Mm. All these little things. You couldn't have your hair. Yeah. Shit, my hair. I got into detention once. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Because I had dreadlocks. I always got into detention for my hair. You know, <laughs> I remember the one time they wanted me to be in some leadership position and they asked me to change my friends. Because my friends were mostly black. You know, because <sighs> you want that narrative of like, Oh, that's why you were chosen. Mm. I went through all of that. And that's why I came out the way I am. Because mm. I was like, oh, okay. There needs to be some work done here. Mm. So our kids and our kids' kids will be okay. But that's, that, that speaks to your character. Because, yeah. you know, at that age, I never knew all this shit until I started, like, working. You know, like, mm. being a full-grown adult. Yeah. But during then, like, I don't know what the fuck. My best friend was Jewish. Yeah, I went to Jewish school, by the way. Shout yeah. out to Carmel. Yeah. Uh, that taught me a lot about business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great experience. My dad was, um, even that actually, 
Uh, my brother was there actually mostly. Um, my dad was very, I guess, quirky and alternative in the way you think because he's the kind of guy who say, don't forget to read The Economist. Here's the encyclopedia. You're going to Jewish school. You're going to this school because he wanted us to be worldly mm -hmm. and understand the dynamics. So he was always speaking to us. And then my mom, being the nurturer, was the girl who'd wake up every day and say, you are beautiful. You know, I've got a dark-skinned mm -hmm. sister. She'd always say, that's beautiful. And Zulu, we call him Donya Manzi, when you're beautiful. You know, so we, uh, my parents now in hindsight, um, have conditioned. always been absolutely mm. conditioned us to love ourselves unapologetically mm. and understand the system but in a kid-friendly way. Mm. So you're not out there like necessarily hating anyone. Mm. So I don't hate anyone. Mm. I love everyone, mm. you know, mm. but things need to be fair. Mm. That's all. And that's why you can walk around without a weave and... And you know what? Let's address the whole weave issue. I actually don't have issues with weaves. In fact, in ancient Egypt, us Africans were rocking wigs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. that's not the issue at all and it's never been for me personally the only thing I just want to show is that you feel just as beautiful with your actual hair as well as you would with a weave a lot of people by the way who wear weaves they've got natural hair underneath mm. it's just you know it's just like convenience they put yeah. the wig on you know yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's just we came from colonialism and, and we were told not to love our hair mm. so that's all but I don't I don't want to who say who told us clicks <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Almost every single beauty product at some point did mm, and now they're changing mm, the mm. narrative. So um, unfortunately, you know, clicks and, and the likes were the ones who put the spotlight. But that's another thing. So all these like different corporates always get caught at different times. But I, I think the issue is not necessarily about the actual company. It's, it's the culture as a whole. Mm. They all have this culture. Mm. So, you know, they can all change at some point if you did yeah. some investigating. Yeah. You know, and that just needs to change mm. um, from the top. Fuck, now I see why you want to be a journalist, isn't it? Mm. You like reading, isn't uh, not. I don't get to anymore. I used to when I tell when you have kids. Um, I can, no, I do, I do read, but I don't. I can't even finish like three pages. Oh. So I have this real guilt thing because my parents did this parenting thing really well. Yeah. And I don't want to drop the ball. Yeah. So I actually like exhaust myself parenting. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. I just want to make sure that they have as much fun as I did. Mm. So I don't get to read as much. Okay. So I read, what I do read a lot is like my son's books. Uh, what, what were you reading before yeah, Ziggs came in? What were you reading? Um, Not literally. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Drop the Who was I reading? Um, who's Ziggs? I don't think I even remember. Um, what was the book? There was a book by Oprah. And, um, I've forgotten it all of a sudden. Um, I've just oh, what's, it, what's your favorite book that you, that you recommend? I don't actually have a favorite book. Mm, mm. I have a lot of books. I love anything by Steve Biko. Yeah. He's I'm more, writing. I'm more visuals, man. Like, I like documentaries on Netflix. I love it's documentaries. Like, yes, love yeah. documentaries. Yeah. Uh, huge on documentaries. I, I love anything Muhammad Ali. Well, that's mm. also because of my dad. Because mm. Muhammad Ali, you know what I loved about him? Mm. He's this huge, like, superstar in terms of being a sports star. Good-looking guy. And fought for us. Yeah. Like, didn't need to. Yeah. And was telling people, mm. what's he? We're amazing. And you've got a problem with that. And mm. that's your problem. Mm. So I love Muhammad Ali stuff. I like, I like watching that. like um, a lot of these acting classes you see, you know, where there's like a Shia LaBeouf or Jamie Foxx, just school mm. learning, you know, more about acting or, or music, colors, NPR, Tiny Desk. You know, mm. I like watching. Yeah, I'm also more visual these days because that's all I have time for. Yeah. I had time to do a lot of spiritual stuff as well. I've been doing it, especially during COVID. Um, my sister's practicing to be a psychiatrist. And so we talk a lot about mental health. Okay. And, uh, and a lot of people don't know this. Obviously, everyone's speaking about, excuse me, mental health a lot. Yeah. But what a, a lot of people don't know is also part of colonialism was to break the mind. So Favut was cum laude in sociology and psychology. So sociology being your behavior, psychology, you know, like the way you think. So that's behavior, the way you think, your psyche, you know. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know. So as black people, when he was president, he had studied our mind. And it was important for us to, to never aspire to have more. Mm. And so you see this, I mean, even the fact that there's no such thing as white Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Crazy too. Yeah, yeah. So you see this thing where we always at each other? Yeah. Or the media, for example. You'll see a drum magazine 
the cover. Ah, ba 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 ba. Although it's a shame, they've gotten a lot better. Shout out to drama. <laughs> I've seen the change. <laughs> but you know, back in the day, and then you, oh, whoever got married. Mm. It's not a coincidence. Because mm. mm. who owns this? They're probably owned by the same publication, same media house. Mm. Hectic, man. So we, knowing that, so we're talking about mental health. And in order to understand that, and almost forgive even your parents and your forefathers, is to understand what they went through. So like, you know, we joke about how our parents used to be really aggressive about even doing our hair or whatever. Mm. And now when you put in that position and you have to provide for someone and how hard the system is to yeah. ensure that you're going to fail. Dude. Of course, you're putting your frustrations on mm. your kids here or you, so about tete, so you know, or whatever the case is, because you're frustrated, the system's not for you. Mm. So we're just talking about that we need to be enlightened about our generational almost, we need to stop that curse mm. in terms of our mental health issues. I'm surprised even seeing any African South African walk and smile. Mm. I think that is that is the biggest miracle because the system, which still exists now, didn't want you to. Mm. And you are. It's fully gate. Yeah, it's fully gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, I, that's all I've been doing this lockdown. I don't know what I've been doing. I've been dancing my life away. I saw, I saw. How, do you, how do you meet Zakes, man? Oh. You gotta tell me this I story. I freaking love that guy. And he chose a fucking good guy, eh? You know these guys in the industry yeah. are trash, oh, bro. Full of shit, right? Yeah. Just, just speak on the mic thing. Oh, yeah, we gotta yeah, hear full this of, story. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you know my hats. Yeah. I don't want people to hear my hats. Yeah. Um, Zakes, I met at the Sama nomination party. Sorry, um, mm. my lip gloss. I put too much lip gloss, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I remember he came a bit hard. Wow. See, you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not chancing this thing. Would you have given me your number though? Had I asked. I thought you were really cool, but I'm not sure. I don't remember, like, yeah. uh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> now that we're here. <laughs> I don't remember feeling like, oh, I should have given him my number. <laughs> hey, can we go back in time? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I remember you being a really, excuse me for doing that. I remember you being a really cool guy. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. so yeah. So anyway, so yeah, we meet at the summer out. nomination parties. He's like, yo. I think you're so beautiful. Mm. Yo, I've heard that at least, you know, because Joburg, they chances. Yeah. So, and he's like, yeah. And I said, I love your music because Zex is a genius in music. Uh, is this after Baby Shake Your Bum Bum? Ne? This is after Clap Your Hands. Ish. I mean, he's produced all these songs and mm. la, 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 These are all la, the la. things he's produced and made. Yeah. This is beyond him even being like, for me, one of the greatest performers of our time, you know? You must ask him, I once booked him. I had a club in the East End called Paparazzi. Oh, I know about that, actually. Uh, were you dating? No, I know about Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I booked him once. He fucking packed up the place. What a He's great incredible. performer. What a great performer. And he performer. always, small, big, doesn't yeah. matter. Kills it. Like it's his last. Yeah. So I was actually a huge fan. Mm. So I just said, I love your music, you know. And then he did what you were supposed to do. Yeah. Have your writing down. He How said, many times am I going to hear this? <laughs> he said, yo. Um, he didn't say yo. Because, yeah. you know. Yeah. He said, you know, can I have your numbers? <laughs> And mm. I thought, no. Mm -hmm. And it was my birthday. It was on my birthday. I was like, no. I know you say, but yeah, and I'm like this industry. In fact, that was a bit of a like. <laughs> I was like, oh, red flag. <laughs> oh God, you want my number? <laughs> you one of those? <laughs> Creepy. Mm. And I said no. And then, luckily, there was a mutual friend that we knew. Mm. And he said, no, Zex is a good guy. You can give him his numbers. Wow. You guys can work together. You know, he's in the industry. And I mm. thought. Okay, cool. Because I want to work with you. I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've been, I've been trying to get a hold of Zex because I got signed by Universal really uh, uh, earlier uh, in my life. Yeah. They had scouts to be inside me. I tried to work with him. He was too expensive, one. Mm. And then secondly, he was hard to get. So mm. it was like, cool, we can work together though. Mm. And we just, well, we didn't just hit it off. It took a while. Mm. Um, but so, we were friends. So you, you give him the number. Does he call yeah, immediately? Yeah, no, he, he was like messaging me, but he came at the right time because um, strangely enough, I had all access, mm. was my first gig, so I had auditioned. So everything just started like happening as soon as he started entering my life. But it was already like, you know, I was really like that girl, mm. you know, like Samba Universal. Mm, mm. Having, there was a song called Good Times, for those who don't know, <laughs> I had a single called yeah. Good Times. Yeah. You know, then all access came 
uh, where I auditioned, all access, got that job. He came into the picture. You know, so all of these things were happening and it was great. It was like God's intervention because he was the greatest guy to kind of guide me. He's like, do you have a team? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, you need had, a team. Had you dated a famous guy before him? No. He was the first. No, he's the first. The, my, my ex, so the guy before me. So I only dated two guys. For real? Yeah, I could, I could know, have been number three. Tabanga. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is becoming painful. Because <laughs> <laughs> my heart is a little, you know. Yeah, your you ex? Been, let me think, but my ex was like an accountant. He worked at a big bank and uh, a CA. Yeah. So no, no, definitely. And I never wanted to. To date an industry guys. No. Yeah. Uh, but it actually was the best thing because if I say now I got a gig at 11 o'clock, he's not going to be like... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he gets yeah. it. He, he probably he, might even I, come with you. Absolutely. If I want to feel sexy... You know, whether it's for the gram, mm, mm, mm. too young. <laughs> he gets it. It's fine. So that liberty, if I need it like now, next month I have to go to, back to LA. Yeah. He gets it. Yeah. Go. Yeah. You know, um, and it was but the shit, best there's Chris Brown and all those motherfuckers that side, man. Yeah, but he's secure. You know how he knew, you know when he felt comfortable was when I did the the shoot with Pharrell, that Woolworth shoot. Because mm. Pharrell was my biggest crush. Yeah, for the God, London hey. with Pharrell. I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew. You're a real one yeah. You know Because Pharrell was my biggest crush For the longest time And I used to skate And all of that stuff mm. um, And that's when I, I even said to Sex I was like that's Because his crush is Kelly Rowland mm. He hasn't met Kelly Rowland yet mm. But my crush is Pharrell And I said That's when I knew That you're a real one Because I was I, with Pharrell I want to know and Like when does It change from Nah fuck it I'm not giving you a number To like fuck I like this guy The fact that he cared There's a difference You know you can get guys Who just want to like Shag you or smash, whatever yeah, you yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, smash. Oh, I'm so out of the loop. I'm still using shag. I'm getting old. Smash. Mm. Um, was he your first? Hey, was he your first? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, I got this mic. <laughs> Something's wrong. Uh, there's a plane coming. Sound. But you know what's good? <laughs> Zex knows. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. <laughs> Zex, as long as you know, baby, you yeah. know if you were my first or not. <laughs> well, that yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he was my best. Mm, mm, <laughs> that, mm. No, that's a real thing. Otherwise, I still wouldn't be with him. Mm. Um, but because sex is important. It is. Good sex. The energies. Yeah, energies. And mm. not like. Like it's an energies. Mm. Anyway, and you see, but what the, kind of sex do you? He performs and makes music. What kind of sex do you like? Because you haven't been in the game for that long. I mean, two what guys. What kind of sex I love? Mm. I love passionate, mm. genuine mm. sex. But also, that can change. Like the, you see, the way you perform, for example, a performer <laughs> needs to be able to be versatile. Mm. It's like how you make music. Mm. You know. Do you want those guys that look into your eye and shit? It depends on the mood. Mm. Sometimes you just want to be ratted and have your man. <laughs> Take it all off. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> you know. You know, I just want to stay. You know. <laughs> so you just want to, you know. <laughs> the kids on around. The kids on around me. <laughs> feeling good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you know? And then, of course, sometimes you're feeling vulnerable. And like, mm, you just want to cuddle. You know, I get that kick. Yeah. You just yeah. want to cuddle. No, yeah. Jesus, but, get, but like, you know, and you want to cuddle and, you know, during COVID, you know, a lot of cuddling. Mm. So uh, do, 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 do you know? Okay, cool. You're like, all right, cool. So you date, you date, you date. I've got a story about that. Yeah. The one, I missed my gig, the one gig for Afropunk, because <laughs> uh, of my passport and Donald Trump had new laws about... Yeah, uh, yeah I remember, that, remember time. that Yeah. Mm. So I couldn't make it for my Afropunk gig and it was the <clears> first one. In fact, I was supposed <clears> to do it in 2017 in the main stage. This was, I was about to make history, couldn't make it. I was... Crash. Devastated. And I remember Zex will always, he always teases me about the story. I was like, I'm so upset. I need sex now. Mind you for the pee pee. He loves that story. Just so you know. Yeah. So how do you know, okay, this is, this, this is going to be my husband. This is the guy that I want to have my kid, kids with. And yeah. Like, 
Um, because there's a difference, like you're saying. There's levels. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I'm not the marriage type. Just okay. so you know, I never was the girl who grew up like, oh, I want to dress. Oh and yeah. Into so no one even knows our wedding pictures. Ah, it's it's more me than shit. Her. You're right. Yeah, I'm not sentimental like that. With that, I feel corny. I don't yeah. know. I was never. I'm a bit boyish in that way. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's definitely sound. Is that him? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah, um, I knew just because he really cared for me. I remember the one time I was supposed to go to Paris uh, for a gig and I didn't have cash. This was in the beginning of like my mm. career, really. Mm. And he looked at me and he could see something's wrong. You know, you're like, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this alone. And he's like, are you fine? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, you're not fine. Mm. I, like, seriously. And I was like... Oh God, yeah, <laughs> but like he was always it's not even about like money or career like mm. he always cared and my parents could pick it up because they could see that you know parents are smart mm. they mm. can see when you're doing better in life and not only career wise just holistically they could see and they love them. you guys have seen look how I look yeah. I'm happy you're yo. glowing yeah? I'm glowing yeah. I'm not pregnant glowing as well <laughs> like this is a real glow yeah. so yeah that's when I knew I, just because he cared for me so why then do you change your marriage contract Oh, yes. That, guys, that made complete sense because mm. I've got dreams and aspirations more globally. Mm. Mm. And so we busy. I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give away too much mm-hmm. to anyone. Just a little. Yeah, but if you're trying to buy whether it's property or whatever yeah. the case may be, the admin, especially when you're doing it now. Oh, that side. Mm. Everything I have to do, everything I said, thanks. Please, I mean, thanks yeah. is a busy guy. So we just like, in fact, we thought we were to be honest, and I don't really like talking about my personal life like that, but uh, we, when we got married, I think because we were so excited to get married, we thought we had signed it out of community and property. Oh. We thought, but we realized later on when we were just like checking out our assets and whatever, because there's this huge move and stuff we're doing, mm. uh, not move, but you know, yeah. things are changing. Mm. Um, we're like, oh, so we, they're like, yeah, you guys are still in community. Yeah. So it was just all admin, mm. you know? Um, and they were wrong about assets. I've got some things of mine, yeah. but it's okay. You know, but I don't papers. understand the marriage it contract. It makes sense. You need to sell papers. You yeah. must say divorce. <laughs> Joking. What <laughs> is a marriage contract? Like, what? What? It, it's important for people to know. Yeah. What to, is that? To know. So, a marital contract. You can be in in community property, out of community property, with or without a cruel. Um, and that basically, out of community property, without a cruel, is you guys being married, but you don't share anything. Mm. You know, and that's what we had decided on. Mm. Um, so you nya jala, mm. and isn't that beautiful? So yeah. you know, you're in it not for each other's money as well. Yeah. I, well, I like it. It's a, remember, it's a personal thing that we like Zex, and I love it because it's yeah. jala. So you know, even if anything touch wood happens, if you yeah. guys go your separate ways, you were in it because you actually liked each other and loved each other. You weren't in it for each other's things. And have you noticed a lot of couples or uh, people are doing that. that now? Yeah, and I love it because for me, again, this is a personal thing. For me personally, um, just because it's about love. And I was actually the one who was more adamant about mm. uh, that. We thought that. He also was as well. But we thought we had that. But there's, there's, it's more admin issues. Uh, you know, get married, you'll see. Mm. Every small thing you need to do, it's just too much. Okay, passport, we need... Okay, no, that's a different situation. You need that mm. for that. But like property, you have to have mm. your partner. Da, da, da. So you want to buy something now mm. and you can't say he's overseas. Mm. Now you got to wait for Zex. Someone's you, already bought it. Do you pay when you go out or does Zex pay all the time? No, Zex is a very much that guy. Uh, he wants to pay. He's so you still never- like a Zulu man. No, he like... Nope. I remember he, it used to disturb him when I take my bag yeah. to the airport my own he's like no I need to help you mm. and he used to stress him out how like no he's very into that chivalry but like the Zulu man type mm. but the like Funinyama. he told me something he told me something <laughs> where he said because he used to walk in front of me you know where they uh, in, in the western world you let your partner go first yes but in African culture or Zulu culture let me speak for mm. Zulu culture the man goes in first yeah, yeah even in Venda and vendor same yeah, thing, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Because why? He's protecting you. Exactly. He wants to check the surroundings. Mm. Now, I just got schooled and I was like, that is sexy yeah. ass. You're getting some tonight, baby. Yeah! <laughs> the other cultures are cowards. <laughs> this guy. He's like, no, but I need to protect you, so I need to check. Mm. Then you can come in. Shit, oh, like, man. You. Yeah, yeah. And he's got no scandals, Zeke, eh? 
He's not no, on he's any human. list. No, no, no. I don't know. No, yeah, no, not list. Yeah, they talk about that. Yeah, but um, I don't want to. You know, because even when people say to me, "You've got no scandals," mm. I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not human. that you know of. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's uh, Mac Gino. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, no, we're human. I don't want to. You know, I mean, I don't want to speak of names, but recently there was this guy who had like a whole lot of scandals coming out and it was yeah. like, <gasps> was I don't want to set myself up. That's why I actually like Rihanna's career. Because mm. Rihanna, if someone or had to say, or like even AKA, mm. someone had to say AKA did this. It's like, okay, shut but we love him for his music. Yeah. I'm not a role model. Zex is not a role model. Yeah. We've made a lot of mistakes in our lives. And you still will. Yeah, although I know when I speak for myself, the person you see on camera and off is the same. Yeah, actually. that's that's what's I'm not that, like a shock to you. That's the beauty. Yeah. That's the beauty about yeah. owning yourself and knowing yeah. yourself and being that's comfortable in your own skin, you yeah. know? And Zeg's lived. Yo. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yo, before yeah. me. Yeah, I know. He you was me. I feel like dancing. Yo! I mean, I mean he had a song called Take It All Off, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. If that does not tell you how much he enjoyed life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't um, know what else will... uh, Amaru Yes What happened with Amaru and Lux? Isn't that the saddest thing ever? Mm. Um, I don't know Amaru, eh? Doug, he's a black man Who has so much potential to do Incredible things I'm, You know uh, I was happy for him, you know To have his agency I can't mm. say a lot because it's illegal Oh, oh yeah, it's still going Oh yeah, it's oh, still Oh yeah, going. shit Damn um, But I did confirm what I did on Instagram Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah Because it is, yes There's been a summons There is this money outstanding And he was the agent for Lux So they had nothing to do with it so mm. They had already given him the money Yeah And then, you know mm. So Sunday World said He was my manager He wasn't my manager mm. So how Sunday World I actually You know the journalist <laughs> It's a brilliant business thing they do. I don't know who they have there eh. in the high courts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, what uh, a brilliant business thing. Eh. So they're like, oh, Nandu. Rah. <laughs> 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 on, on Saturday, they're like, yeah, we heard that you have it. And before you can save it, it's out there yeah. already. You're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. But, um, yes, unfortunately. Even, even the cops. Uh, no. Chief, we've got Nandi here from drinking and driving. <laughs> Done. Get you, get yourself here. <laughs> Finish, you know. You're trying to get bail. No, ah, it's no, late. It's out. <laughs> Sunday was. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah. it is true, and it was. Um, it, I think what made it more painful mm-hmm. is that it's a black man who's so young. And I hope he make amends, as in I hope he does the right thing. I don't want to talk about it too much. Yeah. Also, just because he's just got an. I'm not the only case. You know, Amara has had quite a year. Yeah, dude. There's so many. It's like, yo, scan, dude. Scan. So I'm just wishing the best for him. Because my mm. thing is, I'm not trying to. Man, he just, you know, like everyone, he just needs to do right because. You know what's crazy? Uh, last week, ne, there's a there's an editor. Yeah. Our editor, yeah. his name is Turf. Yeah. So his computer crashed, right? Yeah. And then um, I'm like, all right, cool. You can use my computer, mm. but then we need to upgrade it mm. so you can edit properly. Mm. So I'm like, oh, cool. There's this guy. No, black guy. Let me support mm. a black business. Of course. You know what I mean? As you should. And instead of going to the Matrix. Yeah. Fuck yeah. those motherfuckers. They got enough money. You know what? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, let me go to a black guy. You know, sure. whatever. Showcase. I give him the, the, the computer. I even gave him the money before he'd done the job. Oh, He's been missing since. <laughs> the issue it hurts more because you're like ah dog i was here for you you know what i mean i'm rooting for you you know what i mean are you doing all these things but anyway i don't want to talk about it you know um i don't want to talk about it he has a family and it's been rough Mm. i can imagine for him as well Mm. um he just needs to sort you've been that's that that can't be the only case you've had like you've been screwed no i've been very no no not my mm. dad. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's another thing. I was like, oh, you want to challenge me? <laughs> this Let's is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> challenge accepted. Hey, it's dope, man, because uh, I grew up with a lot of people who, some of them are even judges there. Some mm. of them are ministers. Wow. <laughs> That's just by virtue of Remember in apartheid Everyone went to the same university Oh yeah You're right So if you all go to UKZN Yeah shit You're right so It's you like know. Harvard These are my da- have, yeah, Absolutely yeah. These are like Mom and dad's friends Alright cool So we're gonna play a game yeah. no? Let's go uh, It's called For me it's the You know that uh, That the TikTok yes. challenge Yes For me it's the what, Guys what? I love everyone <laughs> I just want to say this before you guys know I don't have to. This is all Mac G. 
Uh, let's go. So I'm going to show you a picture of a celebrity and then you must do the for me challenge. All right, cool. Here we go. Uh, Loiso McDonald. Oh. For me, but there's nothing controversial. <laughs> for me, what? It's, it's, it's the look. No, that's not a... He's like almost perfect. I'm just trying to think. For me, it's a big forehead. Oh, I've got a big forehead. So, yo... <laughs> Private family, shout out. Yeah. You chose the wrong guy. Like, he's like Okay, cool. Let's try another guy. Uh, Caesar Tomo. <laughs> Caesar, I know you. We kind of love it. But for me, it's just knowing, like, you know everything. It's like, you are the encyclopedia. For me, it's him being the encyclopedia of life. <laughs> Whether right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you, dog. Have you worked with him before? No, I haven't. Oh, who is it? Yeah. But Zach speaks to him. I, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Zizo speaks to him. everybody, bro. Yeah, Zach knows the industry. Well, he's been in the industry for ages. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've worked yeah. like Proverb. Is that it? No, no, no. I've got more. We're going to oh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You worked the Proverb. Dineo Ranaka. Mm. Um, who else? Generally, it's been solo gigs. Yeah. But yeah, I've worked with cool people. Cool. Here we go. Next one. Pearl Tusi. Ah! For me, it's the twerk. <laughs> me and Pearl. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, we know how to do booty hops. That's my goal. So a lot of people don't know how close we really are. Mm. Um, I love her. And I feel like sometimes she's, uh, you know, she's very candid. You've met Pearl, hey? Mm, mm. She's one of the, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. She's one yes. of the most honest people. Mm. And sometimes they can be like Mr. Tim. So she's very like... Open book. Open book, mm. you know. So she's not well-branded and like... Yeah, yeah. As in, when I mean well-branded, as in she's not fake about her brand. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? She's mm. very honest. Yeah, I and love sometimes, And sometimes people can take that the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so she won like sugarcoat it for, for the public. How do you know? Did you meet her in the industry or um, like? Pearl was the hottest girl, like one of the hottest girls in Durban. Oh, shit. She was on the free for all. There's a newspaper you have called the free for all and she used to be a model back when we were teenagers. Every guy loved Pearl. Wasn't she on Lovers Pearl Plus? Was well, that is well. <laughs> wow. Trust me to remember that. Yeah, absolutely. Because she was also a runner up for Miss S18. <laughs> you know, she'd done a Pond's ad, and all you think about is Lovers Plus. <laughs> she's always been that star. It's funny, nothing's changed. She's, she was always that girl. Yeah. We thought she was mad fly. Mm. Let me grab my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Lovers <laughs> Plus. That's all. Pearl, that's all. Make you. Not, uh, not um, what's it? Queen Sona. Queen Sona. <laughs> You know, not all these international shows, no. Oh, she's Love doing great. Eh? She's in, she's doing incredibly well. What? Actually, you just made me realize there's like a, a crew of people like yourself, mm. Shoma Josie, mm. who are really fucking shit up, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's it's our time, as in all of us. Mm. Mm. It's not exclusive to me. It's all of us. The whole continent, the world. It's incredible. All right, cool. Uh, KO. Ah, uh, now For KO. me, it's the... For me, it's the brains. The brains. So I got tear gas all wrong. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Mm. I thought Kev is just this guy who's trying to look pretty half the time in tear gas. That's his role in tear gas. Mm. Gandhi Lendot is literally like the brains behind tear gas. Mm. And you see when you work with him, lyricist, production, people don't know he produces. Oh, does he? You see? Shit. The songs you hear? Yeah. He had a had of producing it. Wow. Writes it. I mean, the songs we did, he wrote the songs. No People way. Don't, you see, this is the thing. Like, this guy is like, that's why I say the brains. Cause, yeah. And he, I think because he's so humble. My brother's so humble. Mm. Like, he does He's like Zags. He's exactly like Zags. Where Zags won't want to let people know that he produces or whatever. But like, KO does all of that stuff. Yeah. And mm-hmm. people don't know this guy. But now they're starting to figure it out. That, And I'm glad they are. They're giving him his roses now that actually, mm. this guy. Mm. Ah, that's why when even a lot of people when they started leaving his camp you know it was hard for them to kind of establish themselves because mm. he really is I'm not joking in fact he is the machine and engine mm. he really is and that's why he's fine on his own because mm. he's, he's got the talents the mm. same thing as Zags mm. when all of them left him mm. you, know, you name it all these artists he yeah. was still fine yeah he was still yeah. a and He was still doing his ish. He's still going to Harvard. He's still, you know, because... He's going to Harvard? That's what, yeah, he's going to Harvard next year. Wow. For entertainment and sports. He was accepted. This yeah. fucking guy. Yeah, 2020. Shit, Zegs inspires me. <laughs> Damn. Damn. i got to try to get to Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> no, he inspires me every day, yeah. Uh, for me, it's the twang. 
It's the what twang? The twang. Which twang? Yeah, K O. Yeah, K O. We are twang. We care all. What twang? Can't judge. I never. Don't ask me that twang, ah. All right, cool. Uh, last one. You're doing this like such a mom, bro. <laughs> it's the brain. It's the brain. <laughs> Uh, cool. Last one. Mm. Non zamombata. You know what? Umkaya mm. wam. So Durban girls taking over. Mm. Mm. That's it. Yeah, she's fucking beautiful. Eh? Durban girls are beautiful. Mm. Huh. Non zam. Um, I'm missing a whole list. And then we've got Makadi. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> you got. You know I hate that fish. Can I tell you why? You know when? <laughs> <laughs> no, no I'm kidding. No, and like, no, I've got to say it. Mm. So Africans, before all of this mainstream media, you know, we, in fact, my grandfather. So my grandfather was a really good-looking guy, like super good-looking. Yeah. And my grandmother wasn't necessarily the commercial good-looking. Yeah, you know? yeah. There's a beauty and strength. Yeah. You know, guys, this like frivolous beauty, you guys always, you know, that's why your hearts get broken all the time because mm. you want you shallow. Mm. That's the problem. You mm. don't want depth or like talent or strength mm. or African men back in the day used to, if they looked at a woman who was strong or could show them, they were like, that's super, like Serena, mm. damn, that turns on some guys. Like you see all of that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So beauty doesn't have to be this like, it's mainstream Western media that's made us think like, Mm. One way of it's multifaceted yeah. beauty for real. Yeah. Then when I see Serena in the court, yeah, yeah that's sexy. Damn, you know that's sexy. Yeah, no, Serena, Serena's. Like, it doesn't have to be the same way, and that's why people are getting their hearts broken because they're all looking for a certain type. Yeah, and they're missing out on wives. Yeah, yeah. Is that why you? I'm speaking to you. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this whole time, <laughs> this was for me. I know if you want to <laughs> Yeah, it's about your love life. <laughs> uh, is that why the song Organic is, is, is dedicated to Sarah Batman? You know? Mm. Yeah. Sarah Batman had a beautiful curvy shape. Yeah. That for. Um, she was a BBW. Europeans, absolutely. Mm. Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest interview I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you know the, I think it was the French yeah, yeah. took her um, they made a show of her and exploited her exploited yeah, her and yeah. uh, you know appropriated what she was about but just like just the neglect and abuse that she endured for looking different mm. and now it's just ironic because you're seeing all these women in mainstream media buying you know booties to look like oh us, yeah the Kardashians like yeah, yeah. all of these things um, but no one's giving us, I don't mind you doing that. Mm. But no one's saying we are inspired by African mm. women. And mm. again, we're being appropriate. So Organic was just for us to be able to celebrate ourselves. Yeah. How's that song doing? Because you post it all the time. Yo, you know, and the reason why I, well, I repost, mm. Mm. watch your words, I mm. repost all yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. There's no ego there. But um, <laughs> I don't post, I repost. You literally had a song. conversation by yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> I did Because you're saying I post Because I'm not hearing the song Damn it <laughs> Oh shit no, so I repost Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I repost um, I post and repost mm. It's doing well I haven't checked I'll be very honest Because it's still new mm. So whenever I drop a song Yeah I don't like doing that Check 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 I like it to All my songs Any music I've dropped it drops and then it like warms up, warms up, warms up, warms up, warms up and then, you know, yeah. hits like a trajectory. Oh, yeah. So there's a whole plan and a global plan we have with Sony. It's very exciting. Uh, you know, you, when you say that last week I was dropping off my son mm. and guess what song I was listening to? I, I listen to the song all the time. Like I'm not even lying to you. Take, take a guess. Say you will. Nah. I'm so happy to nice. know. Uh, Can I tell you a story about that song? Smiley. Oh my goodness. The Christian remix. Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. That was the first jam. So that was after I was runner up twice. So I was like, oh, 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 oh it's over. Shave my hair because when every woman, any woman shaves their hair, you know. Yeah. It's a new chapter. Mm. And I uh, got a call from Sipo. Remember, we were all kids on yeah. kids' show? Yeah, yeah. So Sipo knew I could sing. Cypher. Oh, yeah, Cypher. Cypher sorry. Yeah. And the girl who was supposed to come to the studio didn't. He mm. asked me if I could come fill in. I don't know who DJ Frankie was, but I was like, 
You're a cool guy. Cypher did that beat. Cypher did it. You crazy. He's another one. You're killing He's you, done a lot of you're beats. You're kidding. Cypher. The house beat, the, the, the original, not the Chris Sen remix. See, <laughs> Pongwenya. Cypher. Crazy. He's also another one of those who people don't know. And then Frankie slapped his name on it. <laughs> As all DJs do. I get all the credits. Isn't it blast? And that's, uh, actually, that may be a bit of a problem, actually. I was speaking to one of the execs overseas. Just so, no, it's, not a, it's not necessarily a problem, but it mm. is a problem where... So they're flying a lot of DJs, like hearing these big songs or whatever. And so Americans do things more traditionally. So if you say you did the song, you did the song. Mm. You feel mm. me? So they fly these guys overseas. Okay, studio, we're ready to work. Yeah. He doesn't even know C. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, but, um, you know, Nandy, you know, if um, DJ's like, oh, but I don't do that. <laughs> so you fly. They fly. They have it's to fly actually becoming a problem in our country. I heard mm. uh, one of the guys, I can't say, but he used to um, run, he actually started one of the biggest record companies in the world. Mm. Yeah, I don't expect the people I know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But um, he was saying the only thing that they're finding a lot, so they they're more they're more happier to sign our actual artists, vocalists, because they oh. know at least that is really who yeah, you yeah. know you are and what you present. Yeah. Is with DJing, they're not sure if you actually do this. Yeah. So someone like a Mapuris or a Gabza is very rare mm. in our scene because mm. not a lot of DJs actually produce their, their songs. songs yeah. So Zex Mandrini really does do yeah, something. Yeah, He's yeah. not like a kid or, or, yeah. or co-producers, you know. Yeah. Um, so they'll when you fly as X Mandrini, he graduated in music, he knows mm. exactly what he do, he did yeah, jazz. Yeah. So when you're in studio together with his X Mandrini, he'll play, oh, we're doing F now. Okay, Ooh. let's wow. we do is it, do you want to transition like this? Do you want legato or staccato? Do you yeah. want you know, and they're like, Oh, we can work together. Yeah, you know, so we're having yeah. a bit of a problem. So Which is why they love black coffee. Absolutely, because he also studied music. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So they all went to the same school. Mm. So it's important to Represent yourself as you really are because mm. they can end up shooting you in the foot. Mm. You will get caught out one day. <laughs> they yeah. are getting caught out. Yeah, yeah. They get flown. Yeah. So I'm so happy to know. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. Cypher and then Studio. I got signed to Universal from that song. From that song. That song was massive. Oh, I, it was did, dope. I still love it till this day, man. <laughs> no, I actually, to be honest, I couldn't. Like, I, I love the song, but I didn't love it as much as people loved it. So mm. whenever I'd hear it, I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> But it did so much for me and I'm forever grateful. And they're my brothers. We talk all the time. Frankie, you know, Frankie. You know how Frankie is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Nandi, you mind you. Like, he's, all, he's the big brother. Sipo as well. I, I was like in the industry where, yes, there were always those dirty guys in the industry. We know them. Who? They get celebrated a lot. Mm, those guys, yeah. Your biggest, your faves. Your faves. Hey, dirty, dirty guys. Yeah. But I was lucky that some of the males in the industry, like Frankies and Sipos, really were genuine guys. Um, even KOs, where it's just work. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's so refreshing. Because um, the other ones. Mm. Oh. That's a topic. Your faves. They do. Yeah. The and top, so, top ones. And there's so many. <laughs> the but, but the chickens are coming home to roost. The chickens yeah, are coming. I'd love for us to have a, a, a surfing version of Me Too. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that would be lit. It's about time. That would be lit. It's starting. Mm. I can see it. Yeah. And you've never had those experiences like, you know, couch casting. Well, you did say about earlier on. No, what I've had is like, because you don't want to do, do this, this you f we're you're not fuck getting you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess indirectly. Yeah. But uh, that's what we need to have that movement soon. Shit, man. Nandi. Thank you so much. This has been great, man. I'm so proud of you. What? The, hey, welcome to Crazy. <laughs> yeah, to this like dirty old man. No, that you know. <laughs> you're <just> like. <laughs> vibrators. You see those vibrators? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is crazy. Look at us. Look how far we've come. We. This is what happens when you go on a kids show. You end up being crazy. Maybe people shouldn't do kids shows. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. But we've come far, man. We're here. And We're still so, at it. It's so crazy. Uh, no pun Keep intended. Being yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when you say us, I'm like, no, Nandi, you like fucking Beyonce level. <laughs> no, dude, we all doing it. You own your own content. Shit. That's the biggest Shit. commodity. Yeah. For that son of yours, yeah. one day, mm. he's going to be set for life because of mm. this. So, yeah. And we keep reinventing. We've been in the game for a long time. Someone said, how do you keep relevant? I said, I've been doing this since I was 15. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't a thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> you do this for fun. Oh, man. So in closing, what do you want to be remembered as? A, as? 
Um, I, it, nothing about my career, funny enough. Mm. Yeah, I just want people to say, damn, what an awesome human being. Mm. Um, she made me feel good. When I came across her, I felt good about myself. I felt like I could do more. Hmm. That career stuff, you don't die with that stuff. You don't die with your car, house. You don't die with your career. Mm. What you do die with is your legacy and how you made people feel. Shit, dude. It's just so... I'm getting some Jada vibes, bro. Not Jada. I'm not entangling nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, in terms of like, you know... No wisdom. Yeah. I yeah, know. Yeah. And also like, um, I know you get this a lot, bro. Mm. But like when you walk into a room... Like, I love you. Mm. Like when you walk into a room, like you've got presence because you're Thank different, you, you know, you. not just like physically, but just yeah. like, you know, the vibes as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's also because I stay at home a lot and I, I like to think about how I want to kind of change the world and what legacy I want to leave. Mm. And that's always been what I'm about. Mm. Yeah. Fuck, that's amazing, man. Long may it continue. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so what are we busy with? We've got um, Organic. Yeah. Oh, is it an album? Are we dropping an album? Is no, this no, a no, single? single. So we're we going to do a couple of singles mm -hmm. following up. There's an incredible plan. So 2021. Wow. I've signed to A3 Agency in Los Angeles. <laughs> You're gone. One of You're the gone. biggest. You're gone. Well, I wouldn't. No. No, I don't like hyping. Yeah. I still got a lot of work to do. You must tell them there's a little guy enjoy. called Meg G who's doing a little podcast there. I will. I will. <laughs> Turks, talks. Hello, Dory. <laughs> Hella dirty, very dirty guy, but I think you'll like him. <laughs> you know, just needs a bit of refining here and there. Nothing serious. He's been doing this. <laughs> Incredible. I also but he does his own podcast. As well as my team. I, I, I don't want to speak too much about my team, but one of the guys was on the board or is on the board for the Oscars. Wow. That's been incredible. I haven't told people about that. I'm only telling you. Nah, Andy, what's going on, bruh? Angas! <laughs> nah, man, guys, before I swear to God. Well, are, are you, what I do know is God's listening. So a lot of people have tried to stop this thing. They say, you've been, you know, people have tried stopping your dream. Oh, yeah. Many times. But they can't. You know why? They can't. Because I fucks with God, yo. Mm. He like, every time someone tries to stop, he goes, oh, I see. Oh, but oh. Vela, I don't want you there. Yeah. It's like Master KG. I love that story. No, yeah. no, no. Mm. It's the most beautiful. Just DJ from Limpopo. Yes, I just want him to. <sighs> He's Isn't already it? there. That's God. That's the God we serve. And he produces himself. You don't... <laughs> exactly. You don't, guys, don't miss... God has a plan for everyone. Mm. Can't mess with these vibrations. It's done. Yeah. And once you realize that, you won't give a fuck what anyone's you doing. You don't. Have you seen how... I'm at home all the time. I'm not like branded. Yeah. I'm not like by association. I need to... Can't be seen with Mac G. Have to be seen with... Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Oh, have to be seen with Mac G because he's relevant. Blah, blah. Mm. You don't see me. I'm yeah. at home chilling. Mm. And then I go to work. And then I come back home. I'm not a associate. I'm not like with a cool group of kids. Mm, mm. I'm not that, but you know that. Yeah, yeah. And but God's like, okay, sure. Yeah. You don't need to be any of that. Yeah. And, and, and Yeah, true, man. And that, that like, everything is coming back to authenticity right now. That's like in I'm your music, about. in everything. Everything. And which is so amazing because for the longest time, we've been getting screwed over. Yeah. Because we don't look like a... fly. Because <laughs> you don't look like a mini, you know? And that's mm. what people want. Mm -hmm. But you can you know, start a podcast and say, oh, look, this is what people want. Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful to see that. But as well as, uh, I want people to be able to be whoever they are. Mm. You know, whether it's a mini, whether it's a bonang, a po, whoever. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, seeing Miss South Africa now, whew, she's so beautiful. Mm. Mm. And curvy. Mm. And bold. And then, when she speaks, her brain and her mind, that's what you want. Because there's a kid out there who relates to that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It'd be just rep one representation. That's you know how many okay. times they've told me, no, you gotta be on Instagram. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. I don't gotta give a fuck about that shit, man. Because that's not you. It's not me. If you wanna know what I think, listen to my show. But this is yeah. taking over. Yeah. Because this is you. You're a dirty mother. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a promo. <laughs> Uh, like that, <laughs> Manny. This has been amazing. Uh, TV, are we back? In, are you back on our screens? Um, soon, but I'm I'm gonna be doing different stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot of changes. I'm gonna be both in LA and here a lot. Nice. I man. can't say if you haven't noticed. I really think I should be minister of intelligence. Mm. I'm so good at like. Mm. If there's one thing I do right, I'm mm. not good at a lot of things. But one thing I do right is keeping secrets. I love. I don't even say coming soon. I don't want to do any of that. Mm. I love people seeing the end product and being mm. surprised. Wow. Let me surprise you guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. But the road is looking good. It's looking good. So far, yeah. Shit. I think I got a feeling next year we'll be doing another episode from your house in LA. Nah, by the pool, ne? With Ziggs playing in the back. Nah, so. <laughs> And me teaching you how to get numbers you know I mean? from the honey. <laughs> <laughs> we are here, man. Podcast and chill. Love you guys. Bye, Mini. <laughs>